Hello everyone, this is Adit and back again with another video. In, in this video, we are going to see how to use React, React Native in actually React Native Web. So we are going to look this um, we are going to look into it inside uh, using this in uh, expo which is quite easy and uh, for starting it's good to have uh, things in expo and after that if you need you can go to bear workflow but for the start i will i will suggest you to i would suggest you to go with uh, the react Native expo and it does support uh, give web support as well so here i have just created a empty project i have just created this by using expo in it uh, and uh, then project name and this is a type type script uh, and now we are going to install all the dep dependencies so dependencies we are going to need are first of all we are going to look into the mm, react navigations so how to implement react navigations as well first of all let's just um, start this web app expo start to use this um, this Pfizer app I need to connect to my connect my phone through USB so that's the reason it is going like that so now this will start finally our app, app has started on uh, Android uh, and uh, on our smartphone as uh, Atlas and after this to start this on wave we are going to simply press W this will build the web pack It's quite easy over here. Okay. So both the places our app is working quite fine and uh, so now the question is how we are going to take navigation to it. Let's move a step forward and try to add uh, React Navigations to it. So for that, I'm using Yarn. So I'm going to copy this one. If you're using NPM, then go with the second one. And I'm going to install this. And after this, uh, this one. Next, we are going to create a stack, so we will need this one as well. And uh, to do navigations on web, we are going to need React Navigation web as well. So we can go to the official doc. This is the web support, and here it says uh, we doesn't need React Navigation web. They have removed this in. React Navigation 5. Um, to, we are going to enable someone to enter requests use of React Navigation Web. So we do need React Navigation Web. Uh, but okay, let's. Now, uh, hope this won't take any. So finally, our photo to package is ready. And we can turn our expo. So we don't need any more packages uh, right here. I guess uh, we don't. So we can just start our server. Start coding.
Okay, so we're going to reload our app. And it is part and and it started. Okay, so we are going to use uh, web browser as well. So right now I just press W, and uh, finishing the, after building this, uh, this will launch our web. So okay, so this is it. Now we're gonna add navigations over here. This container, and we're gonna import our um, stack, create stack navigation. Okay. Gonna create our stack. Initialize our stack. Okay. Inside this, we're gonna stack dot navigate stack dot screen. So let's name this home. Component will be um, so we're going to create a home component over here. Okay, why is this back over here? So finally our app is working at both the places right in our phone as well as on the as well as on the browser. So now so for that now we are going to make a we are going to create a, well, another screen. Let's create a detail screen. I'm going to show you how to navigate in browser as well as on the This will be our detail screen. It is straight line. I don't know why this is showing um, maybe some this with the power ID or I don't know. Especially it was not there. So we have added a T. Um, we haven't added actually. So tag screen name. So we have added our detail screen as well, but um, to navigate from home screen to detail screen, we're gonna need to add a button. Turn on press. Sorry for this. 
possibly navigation dot navigate detail okay so okay. navigation uh, let's not focus on the stripe right now we'll do that later The button is not here. So. Now I guess the set box. So we got our button as well. So this will and in the browser as well. So this button will navigate us to detail screen. Let's see, yeah, this is our detail screen, and we got a back button as well. And let's see in the browser. You can navigate to detail screen as here as well. But the only issue is there that we can't we we are allowed to change this URL in the browser. But we can do that in, here in the browser. So we need to fix this because in browser we don't have the same error. We we when we navigate to different page we prefer to have diff uh, we have different browser and navigation is different in the different way in the browser than the, and then in our app so to fix this we're gonna uh, have to implement this one which i have already created on one of our app so here we're gonna add this line of code inside our uh, navigation container and this fallback as well this is used for linking and after adding the link links we will have to fix this so here it is and it's we're gonna save this and we might we have to go to different screen so here here we can see we have now uh, home screen and when we go to detail screen it will change to detail as well so suppose what we're going to do when uh, we don't need uh, this header over here actually we usually don't need this back button over here in the browser section but uh, in uh, uh, in our app we need that so to remove this in our browser we're going to do something like this let's to go over here Inside this, we're gonna do react dot use dot effect. I'm not sure whether this is the right way of doing this or not. Um, I just found it and it works, so this is why I'm using it. And I have used it exactly over here, and this is what I have used. So I'm um, just gonna copy this. Okay. So here we just uh, just so on. We do this false and add. Okay. Navigations. Okay, when we just save this, uh, there won't be any uh, navigation bar in the detail screen. Okay, you can see when we go to de detail screen, we can we don't see any navigation bar over here. Uh, the way we have this one, so we have successfully removed it. But the only issue over here is that it removed it from the app as well, which we don't want. So to make the, uh, to fix this one we're gonna again go and go to our this let's go copy this one and we're gonna place this uh, over here okay and we're gonna import that form and do something like this 
stays is stays then falls. That's true. Let's see if it works. So in the browser we don't have that header skin, but in the app we do have that skin. So this works. So this is it for this video. Um, actually, I forgot to uh, to about this. Uh, well, you can find about about this, uh, this configuration and linking uh, in the React navigation page. Okay, you can just need to find linking. And here we are. How to use that? Uh, I will suggest you to go through this once, and uh, we'll have to figure out everything. And, um, here, when we go into production, we are going to remove this one and to put our own uh, web uh, website URL. And this is the configuration. This is for detail screen. We are suggesting here we want a detail detail screen. This is home screen. So this is it for this video. In the next video, we will move forward and try to add uh, some other features. So, if you like the video, consider subscribing. And thank you for watching.